Now we will discuss the criteria for congruency. It is not necessary to check for equality of all three corresponding sides and all three corresponding angles to prove congruency. Instead, to check whether the triangles are congruent, there are multiple shortcuts and we call them criteria for congruency or congruency postulates. We will discuss these criteria next. First criteria is side angle side or we call it SAS. Now this is an axiom. Why axioms are different from theorems? Because theorems can be proved and axioms are obvious things that can be taken for granted. And we use this to prove other theorems. So what is SAS rule for congruency? Now two triangles are congruent. If you're explaining this in words, two triangles are congruent. If two sides and the included angle of one triangle are equal to two sides and the included angle of the other triangle. Now it will look much simpler when we visualize through a diagram where you can start understanding them very easily. Let's visualize SAS so that you can understand this very well. So for that, take a triangle ABC here. Now take PQ equal to AB angle Q equal to angle B and QR equal to BC. So what I did just now is these two sides are equal. These two angles are equal and these two sides are equal. So this is side included angle and side. Now the only way you can complete this triangle, there's only one way you can complete this triangle is by joining R to P. That is why SAS rule for congruency and there is nothing complex here. This is how you are supposed to learn geometry because geometry is diagram based. The first thing is you are supposed to understand in a diagram and that is when you will start using this while solving questions because finally all these uh, axioms, postulates, theorems are used while solving questions. So what will be the type of questions you will come across in your exam? You will, if you are learning through visualization, you will end up applying applying these methods much faster and that's uh, so that's how you can go to the next level and these are all finally very simple concepts now we'll discuss the asa rule for congruency so asa stands for angle side angle what it means is two triangles are congruent if two angles and the included side of one triangle are equal to two angles and the included side of the other triangle so let's take triangle abc now to understand ASA better, what I'm going to do is first I'll take uh, the side, side QR equal to BC. Now angle Q equal to angle B and angle R equal to angle C. So what I did just now is two pairs of uh, angles being equal and the included side equal. That is A S A. Now using this ASA, now let's see, let's try completing this triangle. What's going to happen is this angle, angle R is fixed. So if I project this side like this, angle Q is fixed. So I can project this side. Length of the side is not given. That's why I'm projecting the point of intersection that if I name it as P, this triangle PQR will become congruent with triangle ABC. And that's why uh, this is the easiest ways to visualize and understand ASA rule for congruency. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.